Hey, today we're going to take a look at some information about a cap limit increase, not only for metals, but for our material as well. Then we will continue on and take a look at a community manager's response about galactic war map changes. There is a lot that we will be discussing in today's video, so with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's begin by talking about a highly requested future, and that is going to be a cap limit increase. This member right here over at the official Helldivers 2 Discord had this to say. At Twinbeard, is there any plans for metals requisitions to be, be for alternative things, so that once we cap out, they don't feel like a waste, like a status effect, or something we could do on the ship, decorations? So right away, you could tell that this member is sending a ping to a community manager's, but you might be thinking, well, doesn't the title say developer? He's not, but the thing is, when it comes down to these situations, these community managers are the ones that relay the information that they receive from the developers, or sometimes the CEO. So now that we have went over that information, let's see what this community manager had to say in response. I think that any game that uses some sort of currency or resource will inevitably have limitations, either being locked down at times or facing inflation related challenges. Suggestions have been made to be able to exchange common samples for rare or super ones and similar things. Also, the fact that the system for rolling out metals has been wonky has led to currency streams not always running fluently. Ideally, resources you earn should be able to be used on things we implement in the game. If we find that a large number of players is repeatedly capped, we might tweak currency and resource-related stuff. In terms of things you could potentially use resources for, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in our brainstorming and design documents, but I couldn't say what those are, regardless of which ones I know of or not. Well, as you can tell right there, Twinbeard is definitely leaving us with some sort of hints as to what we can expect in the future. Perhaps we will see some brand new stratagems, as well as some more upgradable parts and stuff for our ship. I'm sure there will be a lot more that we can look forward to, but I do love this post because he does go into some little bits and details or some hints into that aspect. But also, not to mention, he does talk about the cap limit. Now, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I would love to see this limit increase quite a lot. Because I would love to purchase a whole entire war bond in one setting. You know, because right now you can only purchase half of it almost with 250 medals. And it's just not enough to complete the whole entire thing. I know some of you would probably be like, well, just play the game, take it slow. But some of us would just like to grab all these weapons and test it out right away. Personally, that's what I enjoy, and I like giving my feedback to you guys over on the Discord. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts down below about the cap limit increase. Would you like to see this? And what about the hints? What do you think is going to arrive next when it comes down to stratagems or things that we can use on the field? Let me know down below in the comments. We are now going to continue on and talk about the galactic map and how some players are upset that there's no changes coming to this area specifically, but a community manager responds to this and this is what he had to say. It's kind of funny watching people in here blame the developers for not giving them some way to convince 450,000 casual players to focus on the right planets when the few hundred people active in this chat can't even agree on what to do. Then a Discord member responded with, I don't know about this take. I mean, why have a galactic war system if you're not going to work on its flaws? One of which being a lack of method for communication in game. I don't know though, if it's not what the devs want to do, then I can't make them. And right here, the community manager named Spitz had this to say in response. Supply lines and more information on the map is already being worked on. Even if we dedicated resources and time to adding some methods of in-game voting on which planet should be the priority, that does absolutely nothing to stop casual players from ignoring the vote and just continue playing where they want to play. People who want to engage in strategy and planning are generally already in the Discord or Reddit because they've sought out like-minded players. A completely different member responded to this Discord community manager by saying, to be completely honest, a lot of us try to get people to focus defending the actual plants that need defending. The suggestion to take Martell made sense but wasn't feasible at all. We knew that, and when you decided to be brave, you kind of threw a wrench into the plans. I mean this all respectfully, your words carry a lot of weight. 
The community manager responds with this right here. Frankly, you can't continue to blame the developers when the community came up with the plan. Ask me if it worked. I got direct confirmation from the GM that it would work. Told you all that it'd work and encourage you to do it. The GM tweaked the decay rate to make it even easier. And there still wasn't enough of player effort to make it happen. Short of handing you the win, there isn't a lot more we can do. So what are your thoughts? Do you think that we should absolutely have a voting system of some sort for these like challenges or these major orders? You know, it sounds like a logical thing, right? To kind of encourage players to attack certain planets so that we can complete these major orders. But at the same time, like the community manager has said, that when it comes down to casual players, they are going to play whatever they want to play. They're not just going to have their eyes set for one planet. They're just going to kind of expand all over the place. Now, there was another member who mentioned this right here that got a response from a different community manager, and this is what this user had to say. Hello, hello, Basque. Quick question. Any idea on how to add a tad bit more coordination between divers across the sectors in-game? Say, for example, a bit of change to the galactic map. Just asking due to the limited communication divers outside Reddit and Discord have. Baskinator responded with, this is something the team is looking into. We have given lots of feedback from the community that folks want better in-game communication. And right there, you can tell that the developers are looking into this, and I'm interested in what you think they should do. Should there be a vote system? Should there be, like, some sort of, I don't know, animation to kind of bring it up to whoever's face and be like, you know what, you have to head here right now? What should they do? Let me know down below in the comments. All right, next up, what we're gonna do is take a look at some brand new bugs as well as some old ones. This one right here has been going off for quite some time and that's the reinforcement bug. If you guys do not know about this, then allow me to explain it here briefly. Pretty much what's going on is when you try to use the reinforcement stratagem, it's not going to spawn your buddy in correctly. Actually, what's gonna happen is your buddy's going to be stuck in the spectator mode. That's pretty much it. So unfortunately, a lot of players have been experiencing this bug as of late. For example, this user named Clutch had this to say. Currently in game where two players cannot be spawned in with reinforcements. A squad wipe does not fix the problem. Leaving the game and rejoining also doesn't fix the issue. Is anyone else having this problem? First time experiencing this bug tonight. So as I have mentioned just a few seconds ago, this has been going on for quite some time and a lot of players have been experiencing it. If you are new to the game, then this one might be new to you. And last but not least, we have to talk about this last bug here, which will randomly cancel the mission out of nowhere. This user right here named Praise the Casual had this to say. Missions being canceled out of nowhere. Is the game very unstable to anyone else this morning? I was in a mission and out of nowhere the screen turned black and I respond alone in my ship. At first I thought I had been kicked, but there was no message. So I decided to Google it and found a Reddit post of people complaining about this bug from two months ago. In the post, they said that once it happens once, it will keep happening for some time. Sure enough, I joined another dive and it happened again. It's the first time this bug happens to me, so I was wondering if it's something that was fixed and reappeared. If it's happening to a lot of other people, if there's a way to fix it, or if I'm just unlucky and there's nothing to be done. What I like to call this is the plague bug, because essentially it's like the plague. You'll get it and it's just kind of hard to get rid of. Or better yet, it's like the plague and you want to avoid it. Either or, this right here is a huge pain in the butt and it is a bug and man, it's just bonkers that it has been going around for quite some time. Two months is pretty long, if you were to ask me. Anyways, there has been a lot of glitches and bugs popping up left and right as of late and the developers are working on a good portion of the issues that they are aware of, so just give it time if there is some more things like this. If you have been experiencing some bugs or some things that I did not mention, let me know down below in the comments. With all this information being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have yet to do so, subscribe, turn the notifications on, and make sure that you have joined my Discord. You can find that link down below in the comments section, as well as I will leave a link to the Twitter account. And last but not least, I do want to show my appreciation because I do appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel for those that do. I know this is kind of like a rinse and repeat thing. I always say this at the end of the video, but I am appreciative. 
Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all in the next video.